Hey! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. OK, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Lady, sing us a song. Oh, I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too oh, damn ill. I thought you wanted to head into town. Yes, but this won't take long. Look at the poor fella. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. 
This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. I thought I'd seen everything. You like causing problems? <laughs> all right. Here we are, just like I said. A cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. 
gentlemen. I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dimé and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking too long. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Huh? Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go oh, away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Come on! Try and help people! I, I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Can I help you, sir? Pay to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid. Wasting my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. Bank. Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. I hope, uh, okay. Everything's okay up there? Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. 
All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Please. Just born it. Stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh no. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Uh. Yep.
hello. Can I help you? Who shows on right now? The bear. Mm-hmm. That's good, girl. Hello, mister. Mr. Calloway, sir, it's history. Ancient history, done Excuse and dusted. The dead Excuse got off lucky to live and money. to keep suffering. I they were wrong. But did you shoot the Newton twin? Mister? Partner? Hello there, mister. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest tick mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can <laughs> tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer! <laughs> Make 
Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Hey, mister. Evening, mister.
Talk to them. To Dutch. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak! About your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Uh -huh. Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Eunix was among the happiest and most loyal of oh. courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll lead. Sharon's saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey, I if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. Easy. Damn it, Arthur. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you. 
If you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourselves. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Up. Whoa. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. Cabin's in the cleaner down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yup. And Cormo Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Yeah, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. 
I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. Chance in ages. I'll be stood guard duty, sun up to sun down, soiling my drawers in the spot. Back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out in the distance. I can do that. Hurry up already. Come on. Oh. Moving on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Over here. Feather on the log. What we doing about him? Jesus. Okay, now what? We're at the printer. Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Wait on my mark. I'm gonna take a look at these boys. Sure thing.
Check. You look out here. You all right? Sure. Thank you. Come, <sighs> O'Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Yeah, right you are.
least you got something tucked away.
damn it. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Hey, Arthur. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. But they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? Easy! You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave. Can't escape me, can I? Christ alive! So, you were saying? It was Frank that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. Look, what kind of fight? Oh, well, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur.
knows your problem. Here we are. Fine. Just fine. Things. Not so good, I'm afraid. Howdy. Miss it. Just one or two. Right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drum. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business. So could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? See that fella I was with? Wouldn't know. Can't find my friend. You know where we went? Sorry. No, no. You know which way my friend went? I'm afraid I don't know. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? your mouth, mister.
should switch to water, my friend. There you are, Lenny. How many do you have, pal? Damn it, Lenny, stop slumping off on me! Lenny, go away, you drunk. Lenny, my boy! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Lenny! Again. Swanson! Swanson, you in here? Come on. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. 
Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want them to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? I can't, partners. I don't mean to spoil your fun, but I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Swanson! Reverend! Over here! Reverend! Hey. Mr. Morgan! Oh, hands here, please! The hell Get your you hands say? off him! I didn't say a word! You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! Uh. 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 Fair damn fool! Uh. What you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Now, you promised me. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. I was stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Help me over! Crazy bastard! Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different.
Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... I told him! I was wondering when he'd show up. All right. How did I miss all the fun? <laughs> okay, Mr. Pearson. Hello. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <coughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Delightful surprise. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Just Fine. Leave me alone. I'm so you... glad. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. You know. Don't I know it? That mountain. I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. There he is. Very yeah, mean Parker. I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. Said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, before me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. 
Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. You got your bandages ready? Son of a... You're up. Okay. Does it? Hi, Molly. Hi. Ah. Your turn. So, how are you? As well as can be expected. Ah. All right, Crystal. I gotta go. All right. Hey, I thought. Horseless carriage is a reality. In Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, what do you we'll all be the Philippines. Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. Kill. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. <laughs> Being a bad, dishonest fella, it's gonna send me to drink twice as fast.
So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. One night when I was drifting to its toe, I raised in the bay of Bitsy. I began to tumble and roar. I faced these ribs like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. 